Hi, today we're going to talk about how to make a proper pinch pot. And the supplies that you need are, of course, your clay, a rib tool, sponge, some water, and a scraper. And if you don't have a scraper, you can use anything with a straight edge. The reason you want a scraper is because we're using these canvas tabletops and we want to get rid of all the dust that might be in the way from the previous student that was working. So you're just going to use your scraper to kind of scrape that dust towards the middle of your table. Once you've done that, if you need to moisture uh, the canvas, go ahead and do that. I'm going to set that off to the side because we'll use that a little bit later. Now what we're going to do is we're going to wedge our clay. So we're going to take our ball of clay and we're going to use the palm of our hand. With a small amount of clay, you can just use this as one hand. Later in the class, we'll talk about how to properly wedge with two hands. It's hard to do with this amount of clay. Basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing forward, rolling the clay back, pushing down and forward. And what this is going to do is it's going to increase the flexibility of your clay and it's going to compress all the particles in your clay and decrease any air pockets that might be in there. So once you've wedged your clay enough, you can then kind of just put this into a ball to create the right working surface to create a pinch pot. So I'm just going to take it in my hand and I'm going to use the palm of my hand. I'm not going to roll it on the table like this, it's a big no-no, and I'm not going to roll it in my hand like this because that will create like an egg um, surface and we want it to be really nice and round and spherical. So you're just going to tap it in your hands like this. And you'll do this till you get a nice sphere. Circular ball of clay. You can kind of compress it. And once it's pretty round, then what we're going to do is we're going to smooth in any of these cracks that we have. And this shouldn't take a very long time. You don't want to spend, you know, probably maybe about a minute, probably not even that long. If you spend too much time doing this, you're going to dry out your clay. Um, all of our body temperatures are different, so my clay doesn't need nearly as much water as somebody else's. If your body temperature is relatively warm, you may need to apply more water than somebody that's sitting next to you. If you do that, just take your water bottle and spray it with some water, spray your clay with some water, and kind of smooth that in. Alright, so now we're ready to actually make the opening for our pinch pot. You want to use the tip of your thumb. Don't use the padded part of your thumb or you're going to automatically go in with an uneven wall. We want our pinch pots to be nice and even all the way around and all the way up. So I'm going to use the tip of my thumb like this. Put the ball plate in the palm of my hand, place my thumb, I'm going to press. As soon as I feel pressure, I'm going to stop, reshape my ball clay, twist my thumb, and then pull my thumb out of my clay. So that way I haven't really altered the shape very much. The next step is to actually begin pinching. When you pinch, your thumb is always inside the clay. It's never on the outside, you're never pinching this way. So always on the inside. You always wanna pinch with the tip of your thumb and the tips of your two fingers, your pointer finger and your middle finger. Kind of the pillow part of your fingertips. Go all the way to the bottom as far as you can and begin pinching. It's very slow and very softly. It will feel as if the clay is not even barely moving. And you're going to make your way around the clay wall. If you start to get more of a mushroom shape or an onion shape, you can tip it over, use the palm of your hand, go into circular motion, and it will reshape your clay for you. When you move up the clay wall, it's very slight. You can see that it's a very slow process to make an even pinch pot. About every two time passes around the pinch pot, you're gonna to wanna to stop, spray your clay, and smooth in any cracks that you might have encountered or caused. And that will happen as your clay dries out. To eliminate that so they don't get worse, just make sure you keep enough moisture in your clay. Once you've done that, go back to where you've left off and continue the pinching process. 
It's okay if you need to switch hands. The biggest misconception is to go too fast. Overlap your pinch marks. Make sure they're not too spread out. If we can see your fingertip marks, you're probably going too far apart. So you want to slow down and make them closer together. I'm going to speed this up just slightly so you can get closer to the finished product. The process repeats itself over and over and over again until you are at the right thickness. Once you get to the right thickness, we're now going to rib the surface of the clay to get rid of any of the fingerprints that remain in our clay. This is where you're going to need your rib tool. Make sure it's nice and clean. We're going to use the straight edge for the outside of the clay. When you do this, you're going to push with your thumb and push with your fingers so you get kind of a rounded look because we want it to match the contour of the pinch pot. Make sure you support with this hand so your pinch pot doesn't collapse. Push with enough pressure that you're smoothing the pinch pot fingers marks out. Make your way around the pinch pot going in different directions. Flip it over and do the other side. But before you do that, you may want to make a foot. So you're going to take your pot, hold it, tap, and turn. For the inside, use the rounded side. Support with your left hand or your right hand and turn. Scrape the bottom. Remove any crumbs. And now we're just going to kind of work the edges to get them all evened out. Now what we want to do is we want to get rid of any marks or crumbs that we might have on the inside and on the outside. Before we spin on our pinch pot, I want to explain the thickness of your pinch pot wall. Notice that the one I'm holding right now is a little bit too thick. It's going to be it's a little bit wobbly and if you knock the table it might fall over. So we want it to be much thinner. The next one is a little bit better. It's really, really smooth. We can't see any cracks. We don't see any crumbs. But because the foot is so small, this one also has a chance of falling over. The third one is a good thickness. There's no cracks. There's no crumbs. The foot is flat. It's got a low center of gravity, so it's not going to fall over. So this is what we're looking for um, when we are looking for the shape of a pinch pot. So after looking at ours, we still have some crumbs and some cracks to smooth out. But as far as the shape and the foot, we're looking pretty good. We've already ribbed out our pinch pot. And we've looked at the thickness. We've pinched it out enough. So the last step is to take your sponge and to smooth everything out. What I like to do is just give it a little bit of water. Go ahead and spray your sponge. Pick your pot up, hold it in the palm of your hand, and then just smooth with the sponge. I'm applying a little bit of pressure as I do this. You can also lay it down if that's, or set it down if that makes it easier. I'm going to smooth out the inside. If you use one hand to support and the other hand to push, it makes it much easier and it doesn't alter your pinch pot quite as much. Same process for the outside. We take our sponge, 
and then we're gonna smooth it. If you need to add water, now would be a good time to do that. I like to alternate between smoothing with my fingertips and my thumb and the sponge itself. Remember that your clay is really moist, so it's going to change its shape pretty easily. As it starts to dry out, it will become easier to smooth, and if you would like an alternative shape, you can do it at that point. Right now, we're just trying to get rid of any fingerprints or cracks or crumbs. If you alter it in the smoothing process, just set it down and continue to smooth and pinch. It takes a lot longer than most people think, so don't get in a hurry, take your time, use your rib, use your sponge, and eventually you'll get a really nice, smooth looking pinch pot.